The other day I got to see somebody I love. I haven't seen her for about four years and um, 2020 was rough on everybody and it shifted a lot for us. But she's the mother of my nephews and niece and I didn't realize how overjoyed I would be seeing her. She's one of those people that's consistently exuberant and embracing and just a lovely person. And she makes a decision and she does the thing. And I've always admired her for that. And the more we um, talked, the more open we both ended up being about how difficult these last few years have been because we both realized we're perimenopausal. So I wanted to make a quick video to talk about this liminal space that I've discussed on my social media where I've been kind of in retreat because I'm trying to understand myself and I've also been going through a lot of grief. Speaking with her, reconnecting with her after losing friends who will not acknowledge either that they're going through this phase of life or they're so attached to their old traumas and their old stories, they don't want to grieve them and move on, but they want to attach them to this new phase of life that feels like it's adding more trauma, more difficulty, and they somehow want to attach their identity to that instead of allowing it to transform you. I've lost people that I thought I'd never lose in this process, and it makes you feel very alone. So seeing her, I wept <laughs> and I have never been a crier, but this phase of life has made me a crier worse than when I was pregnant. Everything is more intense than when I was pregnant. I was only pregnant once, but this is more intense. So I want to do a few more videos that talk more about what the things I wish somebody would have told me. And I would love comments from women, these Gen Xers and stuff that are starting to go through these perimenopausal, perimenopausal phases. They last seven to 10 years for most women. They can start in your 30s. And I think that women in their 20s and 30s need to know to have a baseline of your blood work, your vitamins, your minerals, uh, all of the basic baseline stuff. Have an understanding of that. So when something starts to go wacky, even if they can't tell with your hormone panels, because they can never tell with mine. So everything has been on my own no matter how hard I try, then you have some power. You're empowered to help yourself. And you can be transparent with those that are in your life so that you can have more healthy relationships that are more inclusive, especially with people that are willing to be transparent about their journeys and their grief. Not only have I lost a lot of people in these past few months since my last videos that I love, but I'm also grieving my former self. And you're in this liminal space, this pregnant pause, this darkness where you don't know who you're going to be. And you also don't really know the person you have been. But every trauma comes back in full force. Worse than, and I've done a lot of work. I've done a lot of work with my physical body, somatics. I've seen psychotherapists, um, talk therapists. I've done trauma psychology, as you know, if you follow me. I have done so much work and I was in a good spot and then this came and my old stuff will come and knock me over. My physical body too, you know, you're not processing stress the same way. The liver is responsible for all the cortisol and it's overwhelming. So you don't handle stress the same way, which makes you get hot flashes <laughs> and all these other things. So I can go on and on about that and I can talk about more of that later in other videos for women or those in relationships with women going through it so you can be a little more compassionate and understanding, maybe know what questions to ask, how you can be of help. Because a lot of really healthy men are interested because they want to understand the women in their life better, which is kudos to them. And men go, can go through their own phases, but I don't want to speak for men. That's not my place. Um, I just wanted to share why I've been away what I want to talk about more, liminal spaces, these unknown spaces where you don't know exactly who you are. It feels almost like some kind of a crisis, existential crisis almost. And you also see more in touch with other liminal space things, the mysteries of life, the paranormal, all these other aspects. 
that make us wonder, which isn't a terrible thing. So it's very hot in my car, <laughs> so I'm going to go inside, but I just want to check in with everybody. Please comment if you want to hear more about how my life has changed regarding romantic relationships, especially during perimenopause, being a recovering love addict. <laughs> what happens with your physical body and how you have to eat, what supplements have helped. Um, I'm not sponsored by anybody because I'm not really communicating. So maybe I need to communicate more because we need to talk with each other. We need to support one another. Those of us women who want to acknowledge what we're going through and be there for each other, but also feel alone, we need to release the shame that our ancestors were forced to carry. There is no shame in this. It can be a very spiritual journey and a very intense one, and it's almost violent as any transmutation can be. So how do we appease that? How do we channel it and harness it into something that's productive for those that are coming behind us, for our future ancestors? How do we make their lives easier? So we don't have to put them through what we're going through now, hopefully, fingers crossed. <laughs> Anyway, I've missed doing videos and writing. Hopefully, I'm working on trying to get myself healthy enough and in the space and prioritizing being creative again because that feeds my soul and my spirit. I do it more, most for me, but especially if it helps somebody else, then that's the bonus. So we are all our own healers. We only help facilitate other people in their healing process, and that's all I do. I try to help people remember how to heal themselves and help themselves because man, I'm not perfect and I'm also not God. So I hope you have a wonderful day. Stay cool.